Hello and welcome to the sixth tutorial part two. In this part we'll look at how to use the platform specific code inside the PCL project. Then use the check internet connection function to check if the device is internet. We specify the functions inside the app class so that all views can use the same functions. The goal is that each view calls one function of the app class and it handles all the internet connection checking. We add a function called check internet over time. It has two parameters, a label and a page. A view uses this function and the app will keep track of the current view. We specify the text that will be shown when the device has no internet. The text of the label is specified in the constants class. We still use the constants class to specify all our constants. Now we specify a timer. This will be used to check every couple of seconds if the device still has a network. When it returns false, the label will be set to visible and a display alert will be shown. If it returns true, the label will be set to invisible. To To see how you can specify your own timer, look at the code. You have a couple of parameters for the constructor to specify its behavior, like the callback function, start time, and the loop time every time the function will be called. The timer will use the function every couple of seconds. This will check the internet and if the internet is disabled, change the UI element. Because the timer runs on a different thread, you need to use the function begin invoke on main thread if you want to change some UI elements. If you don't use that, the elements won't change.
for the display alert we use an external function. We do this because we want to know if we already have shown the display error. When the timer loops in the first loop and you have no internet it will show the display. When the loop is done again and you still don't have internet you can see that the display error will appear again. By using some booleans you can alter this behavior. Besides the check internet over time function, we make another function just check internet. This return a boolean that represents the is connected of the network class. Please use this function if you want to check the internet connection immediately. Like if you want to press a button that uses an internet call use this function because the check internet over time can be too slow for your button press. The last function that we will make is the check internet with alert. This is the same as the previous method, but it will show an alert and doesn't return a boolean. Now we're going to integrate this function to the login screen. We need to add an error label to the XAML file.
the label will get its text from the app class. But we're going to set the background to red to make sure that the user will see it. Also the text color will be set to white so that you can see the text better on the red background. The last thing we need to do is to call the check internet over time function from the constructor of the page. We give the label that we just created uh, with, it, with the function call and use the this for the page. This will represent the current page we're in. Finally, we're going to build the app and run it. As you can see, I have network enabled and the label isn't show. Now we enable the flight mode and see that we have a display error and a label. When we disable the flight mode, the label will disappear because the device has internet again. With this, the episode comes to an end. Hopefully everything is clear. In the next episode, we will make a dashboard page and a navigation from the login page to the dashboard page. For any questions, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.